Hey guys, it's Yobudman here, back with another video, and today, on Crash Bandicoot for the Endstain Trilogy, we will be completing the game by uh, defeating Dr. Neocortex on his big airship, so um, let's head in there right now. So as you guys know from last part, we rescued Tana, we got all the gems, so now Dr. Cortex is all we have left to defeat. Alright, let's see, hint. Certain energy bolts can be deflected back at him. Alright, yes, yeah, so that is a big hint. Alright, so... There he is. His castle's on fire for some reason. I don't know, okay, so here's how you beat him. So he's got five little health bars, and so he's gonna shoot those purple and green blasts. And when he shoots a green one, you spin it back at him. But the thing is, every, uh... Every time his health goes down, he has this new pattern. And he gets new bullets. So, um, let's see. Oh yeah, and also you gotta... Oh, never mind. Well, you gotta deflect more green bullets as, as his uh, health goes down. But sometimes he'll shoot two at once, like that time. Alright, so let's see. There's a green bullet. Alright, so it's gonna stay in the air there. We have to, I think, get two more, and then it'll create this huge green orb. And then it'll hit him. And, and uh, eliminate his third health point. Oh! Oh! Alright. Let's see what he does, let's see what, uh, he does now. Oh, now he's spamming purple balls everywhere. Alright, get that green one. No, I missed it! No! No, why is this one always so hard? Alright. Oh, no. Oh, he's doing it again. Give him the green one. Oh! Alright. Look, he must have something big planned for this. Oh, really? Okay. That was easy. Oh, there he goes, falling down. Alright. Looks like, uh, we've put an end to Cortex once and for all. Oh, there he is. There he goes. Alright, we've already rescued, uh, Tana in the previous part. But, uh, here she is again on the airship. We've stolen that airship now. He will not be getting that back. And, uh, his castle will burn down. Uh, okay, here's the real credits. Not the 100% credits, I thought. Okay. I don't know, I thought, uh, when you completed the Great Hall, you'd get the proper credits, but I guess, uh, this ending is more common, more people will get to this ending. I guess the 100% one is more complicated, so they'd put the all their names on the credits that people will actually see. I guess that makes sense. Alright, so, um, yeah, here's just regular credits. Last time they did something cool, and they, uh, like, basically did a biography of all the characters and what they did after Crash defeated them, even Cortex, because you were supposed to do the Great Hall before, I mean, after you beat Cortex, so, um, oh well. I guess we kind of, we did it out of order, but that's, uh, that's, uh, totally fine. I actually prefer it that way better. So, yeah. Credits. And, uh, what was that? I just heard a life noise. Like, getting an, getting an, uh, extra life. So I guess next it'll be Crash 2, Cortex Strikes Back. I'll have to see. I'm thinking it will be that. I might just play that, yeah. Or I could play like another Super super uh, Mario game like I'm doing with uh, Super Mario 64. But I'm probably just going to end up playing Crash 2 after this. Also, I could even get a few relics because uh, this part is kind of short. So maybe I could get like some relics just for fun. I would do that, uh, that DLC level, Stormy Ascent, I think it's called. I don't know how to, if, uh, I'm pronouncing that right. But yeah, there was this cut level from the original Crash game that they put back in here, but you have to download it, and, uh, my PS4 is in a location where it doesn't really reach the internet that well, so I unfortunately couldn't download it. But I'm sure, uh, I'll be getting internet, an internet extender sometime soon. I don't really know how that works. But, uh, yeah. I had a lot of fun playing Crash Bandicoot, especially doing that great hall where we uh, we stepped on all those gems, all the all the uh, gems we earned, and they all became platforms. You know, I find that um, you know what I they should have done? They should have put all the colored gems in there too. So like instead of all clear gems, there'd be like the red, the orange, the yellow, the purple, the green, the blue. They weren't there. It was, it was just all the colored. It was just all the uh, clear gems, which. Uh, and the color gems would have been nice to add there, because we worked extra hard for those. You guys know how hard those are. But, uh, yeah. Special thanks. Not a lot of people to give a special thanks to. And a super shout-out 
to Naughty Dog and the original Crash Bandicoot team members who contributed to the original three games. Yes, absolutely. Oh, this was developed by Toys for Bob. Okay. Alright guys, so yeah, I just decided to skip the credits. So um, yeah, thank you all for watching the Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot on the End Scene Trilogy. Uh, it's pretty much over now, but I think I'm just going to go and get a few relics. Even though they're absolutely not necessary for 100% completion. They're only for like, you know, the pro players that can do all these levels without dying. And uh, yeah, I guess they just uh, got a lot of requests to put that feature in. Where they had relics on all three games, so I'm, I'm just going to be doing an easy level. Maybe the first level would be a good one to uh, do the relic on. Yeah, I think that seems about right. See, I'll show you a relic. Alright guys, so here we are back at the very first level. So, uh, for those of you who don't know how relics work, basically what you gotta do is, uh, you get this clock, and then you run to the end of the level without dying as fast as you can. And I think there are... Yeah, there's these crates now too, these yellow time crates. So when you get them... Oh, there was a three up there. Uh, depending on the number it shows, that's how many, uh seconds the clock will freeze for so that was a one so it free it froze for one second all right so um oh look there's fake crash i think once you complete the game he'll appear randomly in uh different in uh, certain levels all right so let's go we got invincibility let's see which way should we go i'll go this way so you have to get under a certain time in order to get a certain relic so there's sapphire and there's gold and platinum Platinum is obviously the best time. Alright, so there's the end. What relic did we get? Let's see here. Did we not get a relic? Wow. Alright guys, so that was a complete failure. We didn't even get a relic. How fast do you have to be on this? How do you even get a platinum on this? Is there like some shortcut that I don't know about? Alright, I'm gonna try to get the relic on boulders. That seems like a, uh, a fast level anyways. Seeing as you gotta run from a boulder. Alright, so this shouldn't be too bad. There's already a two second crate right there. Actually, you, you know what probably screwed us up in the last level? That, uh, that number three crate that I missed. Alright, so there's one. We cannot stop for anything. Just gotta keep going. Keep running from these boulders. Oh yeah, if you die, the whole trial restarts. So yeah, that's why. I guess they decide not to make it mandatory to collect all the relics. Cause then it'd be like getting the getting a color a colored gem in every level. Only you have to do under a certain time. Yeah, that's a true that's a uh, true challenge right there. Alright, so here we go. Notice I'm only doing the easy levels. It's it's uh much easier not to die, that's for sure. Uh oh, how long does this boulder go for? Oh no, it's gonna kill us. Go, 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 there's the end. All right, let's see, did we get something this time? All right, we got Sapphire. That's good enough, that's the worst kind, but uh, I'll take it. All right, you know what, just for all you guys' enjoyment, I'll be trying to get the relic in the lab, the hardest level in the game. I'll fail, of course, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna try it out and see how far I can get. Alright, here we are. Now we're not just trying to not die. Okay, oh. Ooh. Okay, I lasted a lot longer than I thought. Still not dead, but, uh... Oh, I could have made that. Okay, well that happened. Oh, okay. As you can see, I'm not giving up. Okay. I know there's th that TNT. No, come on, don't close! Oh, nice. It didn't even kill us. I love how the, bon the bonus portal is uh, still there. Oh, man, I waited too long. Okay, get off the edge, you lab assistant. All right. Wow, if I actually do this, that's going to be something. All right. Here we go. Actually, they say... Oh, all right. Well, what a way to die. Whoa! Okay, we've made it this far. I doubt we're gonna continue to get to the end. I've tried this like about five or six times already. I actually might make it. 
it gets less harder as you play it more. I find. All right, let's see what do we have next. Ah! I should not be slowing down here. No! All right, guys. So that was a complete failure. I don't know why I thought I could do that, but uh, yeah. Once again, if you made it this far in the video, then. Thank you all for watching this Let's Play. I'll be continuing, most likely, in Crash Bandicoot 2. And so, yeah, I hope you enjoy. I hope you enjoyed this uh, whole Crash Bandicoot Let's Play. I hope you like and subscribe. And I'll see you all in the next video.